Does Kyrie look like he's old and tired right now? He looks old. He got them grays coming out. He got a lot of cobwebs up in there. Like he got the grays, and like his lips are a little bit darker, and he has like this little shadowy beard thing on. It's like is everything okay, Kyrie? You look a little, you like you look you look like you're like life's hitting you hard. Yeah, Kyrie's never okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with him. So the whole team just looks like sad and down. And I'm like, this is literally what y'all wanted. Like, well, yeah. everyone, it's, everyone's mad at us. It's like y'all decided to team up. This is what happens when y'all decide to team up like this. And look at how they went about it. KD, like, oh, I don't know nothing about James. You know, he's on that team, and rah, 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 rah. and three days later, guess who's showing up to Brooklyn? Ten pounds lighter already. And do you think do you think they can win the championship? I think can. Yeah, yeah, they can. I don't think they are. Their defense is atrocious. Like I was just looking at their, their like last ten games, and I think uh, uh, you know, they give up routinely like over 120, 130 points every night. And like, yeah, they'll also score one hundred twenty, thirty, but like, you can't. You know, it's not sustainable. But you see, they yeah, but it's like, they lose to the bad teams. They beat the Bucks. They beat the Clippers. Like they beat the good teams, and then they don't beat the bad teams. I think in a playoff series, like if they end up going to the Eastern Conference Finals and playing Philly, or they go to the finals and play the Lakers, like I think they can lock in and hopefully D up better. But I think th- I think they can. You know, what they remind me of though. They remind me of the Clippers of last year, a team that uh, of of some players. Great, great talent. They aren't as consistent as you'd like them to be. And the media and a lot of people just think they're they're the prohibitive favorites. It's like, oh yeah, they're gonna be in the finals. They're gonna they're gonna be right there. And it's like they haven't worked through how they're going to play in the tough games together. And they walk around with their chest out like they've done it before. And granted, KD's done it before, Kyrie's done it before, but they haven't done it before together. And I think that. Because they take these games off, they, they don't lock in on defense on a regular basis, and they don't know how they're going to act when the tough gets when the uh, going gets tough. Then I I just think they're going to be a disappointment, just like the Clippers were. Yeah, that and combined with the fact that you know Steve Nash is a, a first time head coach, and it shows. Yeah, in a a very tricky situation, uh, I I don't think that they are going to win this year. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't win, but I don't think they're going to be the Clippers. Like, the Clippers had a 3-1 lead and then tanked it to Denver in the second round. If the Nets lose in the Eastern Conference Finals to Philly, like, that's not a choke job. Y'all lost to a really good team. They get to the Finals and lose to the Lakers. That's not a choke. Y'all lost to a really good team. If they pull a choke job and lose to the Pacers in, like, the second round of the East Eastern playoffs, then, like, yes, but I think the difference between them and the Clippers, the only player that had done something on the Clippers was Kawhi. PG is great, but like PG hadn't done anything yet. And then they have KD oh, who is oh, done. PG viewed himself on the same level viewed as Viewed himself and, and what you have done are not the same thing. So as, I don't care how he viewed himself. As LeBron and AD. Yeah, I don't care how he viewed himself. The truth of the matter was he disappears in the playoffs, and he did last year. And then KD has done it, and so has Kyrie. James Harden, I think he can disappear in the playoffs at times too. But it's not your best player is proven and your second best player disappears. It's your best. You have two players who are great options, who have been there and know what it takes. So I think I think they'll fare better than the Clippers did. I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they don't win it all, but I think they'll do better than the Clippers. So we know something's going to change with that roster. There's going to be some buyout guys. Who do you think they need their a potential buyout guy to actually get that roster over the hump? A big, like a you know, JaVale McGee type, just just somebody to you know to bang around with uh, Joel Embiid and AD and protect the. I I just don't understand giving up Jared Allen because I feel like they didn't need to give him up to make the whole trade work out. So I think they needed to keep him. Well, I think he's a threat to to, to Andre to uh, Andre uh, not uh, DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan. I'll about to say Andre Drummond. DeAndre Jordan ain't been right in years, so well, he can't play him in the fourth quarter. Yeah, 
he's a four in their big four, though. You know, before they're not they're a big, that's, there, they're like, not a big they, they were big three with, with, with DJ. They were not that's a big three. literally because, you know, Katie and Kyrie wanted him and – like he he didn't deserve that four year forty million dollar contract at all. And if he lumped into the big four, he's the biggest one there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they can beat Philly. Like, what is what is Joel and B going to do to them? Kill them. Yeah, ben exactly. Simmons can, ben Simmons can actually make scoring tough for Kevin Durant. Mm-hmm. And. Doc Rivers, like, I mean, he let, he lets us down in the playoffs, but he is a really good coach. And you see how they're playing right now, and shit. I mean, Jay Rue might be the difference in 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 Milwaukee. I don't think they're going anywhere. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be the same old thing of you know, Giannis just running into a wall, and that's it. Yeah. Hey, it's funny because um, his career, he's won two MVPs and then bounced out the playoffs. So it's like his career can either LeBron, because LeBron had two MVPs, nothing to show for, and actually got bounced down like the same parts of the playoffs. But I think a much more realistic trend for Giannis's career is going to be Karl Malone. You win these MVPs, we all recognize you're a great player, but you're you're just not going to win. You by yourself are not a winner. Karl Malone's disgusting. Um, 